good morning guys happy saturday so this morning i just started off doing um some you world questions which i've been trying to do daily sometimes i skip some days but since it's the weekend i try to really sit down this morning and do like a block of you world questions so that's what i did this morning and so now i just want to sit down because um a few weeks ago i made a video about like step prep and like uh, my initial plans for you know preparing for a step one exam and you can go back and um, look at that video if you haven't because I explained what step one is it's just a, uh, it's a very important board exam that you take at the end of second year so I'll be taking that in a few months but I mentioned that you know I'm not really doing like intense step prep studying now is really just like um, you know doing you world questions trying to do those daily and just using my usual um, high yield resources like first aid and pathoma but I still ended up getting like a lot of questions about my study plan um, what I'm going to be doing if I have a schedule and all that so your plan really needs to be like individualized whatever works for you just go with that but at the same time I know it's good to like you know hear from other people see what they're doing see if you can get some ideas um, you know from other students like me personally I reached out to a lot of third year students at my school to see um, what they did to prepare for step like we even had a step one panel last week at my school with some third years and they came and talked about what they did to prepare for step so yeah it is good to um, you know get the opinions of others um, and then decide what's best for you remember there is so many resources out there and I don't think there's like one resource that's better than the other is really just about what works best for you and then tailor that resource and fit it into your planning um and so last year at the end of first year I did um a study how to study and a study resources video and I mentioned like Torio and so if you're not familiar with them they're um an online subscription they have so many different like medical videos that cover pretty much every subject that you need um they have like quiz questions that you can do at the end um and a few other features and a new one that they just added is their step one q bank and that has like over 1500 questions you know if you know about step prep seeing as many questions um as possible is really important and i know like the main q bank that people use is you world that should be like your primary one and then sometimes people pick up a second one and so even when I started with Electorial Q Bank, I noticed it was very, very similar to um, the way that UWorld like has their format, which is pretty good. Um, you know, you get the same step one style questions. It's over a thousand, over fifteen hundred actually, which is a good amount to add into addition to whatever questions you're doing. And so for me, even though I'm doing UWorld throughout the week, I try to go back and do UWorld questions for the previous blocks that we did because I feel like I know that information is solidified and let me test it on myself that way. And like the current material, like right now we're doing GI and endocrine. Since it's not so solidified, I then go and practice with um, the Lectorio Q Bank. So I'm using, you know, both of those simultaneously and, you know, getting the most out of those Q Banks. Yeah, and everybody uses their Q Banks differently. Some people like to save U World for their dedicated time of studying. Um, if that's somebody like you, then maybe you can look into getting Lectorio and doing that throughout the year, throughout your coursework. And then when dedicated time comes, then you have U World to use. And so one thing that's unique about Lectorio and one thing that I really like is that um, that's different from like some other Q banks or subscriptions is that they provide study schedule schedules for you and it's two schedules that they provide. One is um, a 40 day pathology um, schedule and pathology makes up, makes up over like 70% of step one. So that's a very important subject to have down. So they have a 40 day uh, schedule for you to make sure you make it through all the subjects of pathology. And they also have a 99 day schedule uh, just to make it through all of pretty much step one studying. So if you're a scheduled person, um, if you know you need some structure in your studying, if maybe schedules haven't worked out in the past for you because you don't know how to make them, maybe you know looking taking a look at these two schedules would be good for you and they're both free you can just go online to the website which I'll leave um, links below and take a look at both of those schedules so I have the um, pathology lecture pulled up on my phone I'm just gonna give y'all a breakdown of how the 40-day schedule looks like and how it works okay so 40-day pathology study schedule so there's three steps to it the first one is you gain your knowledge so what you do is you'll watch lectorial videos so general principles or cardiovascular all right and then step two is you uh, review the high yield facts so they're always going to let you read the first aid book uh page books that matches to the lectorial uh, videos your third step is to apply the knowledge and so you're going to use the lectorial q bank and then this last column lets you know how many days you're going to be doing that so general principle is two days 
and then if you go down now you're in cardio so the first step is to look at those videos just to gain the knowledge and then um, the second step is use your first aid book and look at all the page numbers of first aid and then you solidify that by doing the pathology cardio section for the lectorio Q bank and cardio is four days so it's going to be a little bit more because cardio is a big section of um of step one and then you have endocrine so the same thing so all the subjects gi heme musculoskeletal neuro psych renal reproductive and it all adds up to um 40 days so it adds up to 40 days and you're gonna cover all of the pathology subjects that you need for step so if you feel like you need that extra um studying an extra prep for pathology which is a tough subject that you take during second year i recommend checking out that 40 day schedule and again it is free and then quickly i just wanted to show you guys their 99 day schedule so if you're a few months out from um step and you want an overall general prep for every subject then this may be a good thing for you to um to look at and again this one is free as well so this is the 99 day study schedule for us assembly step one and let me just scroll down all right, so this is the study plan overview, overview. They have week one through 15 here, and then they have it seven days a week, and then you see a few um, breaks in between where it says relax. And so week one, you start out with biochem. So you do however many days of biochem, and then you move on to immunology, and then micro, then you get down, and eventually you get to reproductive and um, respiratory, and then you're done. And then you actually click on the you click on the box and then that biochem gives you like the videos that you need to do for that particular subject. It gives you the QBank areas you need to look at. And then this is just pretty much the um, the breakdown of it. Read the first eight pages, do the QBank, um, look at the videos, and that's just pretty much how you get through this 99 day schedule. So again, um, not everybody needs a strict structure like this, but I feel like for step one, planning is everything and just like, you know, it's so overwhelming everything you need to study. So having everything laid out, having everything that you need to do every day, the subjects you need to cover, I think it's pretty helpful. So again, check that out if you feel like a schedule is needed for step one prep. So yeah, step one is a pretty daunting exam, especially the fact that it has so much weight over like what you can do as far as residency is concerned, what you can specialize in, and just the magnitude of information that's on that exam. So yeah, a lot of prep goes into it. Um, it's easy to get very overwhelmed with it, but I feel like if you just make that plan and try your hardest to stick to it, then you can have success on step one and make a plan that works for you, not what works for everybody else. You know, you know, get the opinions and see what other people are doing but in the end you need to tailor it to yourself and figure out what works best for you and then the last thing I want to mention with um, Lectorio is their medical school survival guide um, so pretty much a first year neurology resident came up with this med school survival guide it's for pre-med students you know preparing for entry into medical school admissions what they need to do for first through fourth year medical students what they need to do each year is to ensure they're having a successful year and so it's also again um, free to download I'll just show you like a little table of con contents to see what it's describing so you have your pre-med years you plan your college years to ensure admission into med school and then you have your first year of medical school you learn how to study and become a medical student second year um, med students all about step one third year you start your rotations fourth year it's all about preparing for um, residency and then this is also a really good part that they added um, international med student how to get in uh, to a U.S. residency as an um, international applicant. This is if you want to get into a U.S. residency and you're an international like physician or international graduate. Rather, this would be good for you to check out. So yeah, that's just a little breakdown of some of the things that Lecturio is offering. Three of the four things that I mentioned, they are free. Um, so like the med school survival guide, I think that's really good for every medical student to look at and pre-med student just to know what to expect. Um, the 40-day pathology schedule, the 99-day step one schedule, and then the QBank. With the QBank, you need a Lectorio um, subscription, and so I do have a 25% um, link that you can use. I'll put it in the description box. So you get the subscription like with all the videos that they have, all the quizzes and things like that, plus the QBank. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and, um, you know, get started on step prep, and even if you're just a medical student first, second year, and you just want some video sources to go along with your coursework, I'd recommend checking out Lectorio as well.
and so that will conclude my study break i need to get back to studying um later this afternoon i'm going to see black panther which i am really excited about i've been hearing so many good reviews on it so i'm gonna keep on studying and i think the movie is at five o'clock hey. hey what's up what's up <laughs> this is my friend damar hey. damar how long have we known each other probably since sixth grade yeah so it's been like long. it's been like since middle school yeah. All right, but he's here. He's gonna help me film this part because somebody asked me before how I um, like do this hair tie. So I'm just gonna like show y'all how I put this on. All right, so this is a full thing right here. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around like this. So this is how it looks right now. And then you just keep on twisting and then eventually you start wrapping it around. And then you just keep wrapping. And then that's it. It's pretty simple. Alright, thanks cameraman. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, so Damar played basketball in college and he was a biology major. Do you have any advice about how to balance and be a college athlete? Uh, I would definitely say focus on your education first that's definitely what's gonna last the whole time. I mean, mm -hmm. basketball, most people don't let go past um, college, so mm -hmm. I would definitely say focus on education first and make that you're definitely a priority, because that's yeah. gonna last forever. Yeah, that should be number one. Even if you have like dreams of going to like the NBA or playing like overseas right. a professional, like that may not work out, but right. you're always gonna have, you know, and your regardless education. Regardless if it does, it's gonna end, you know, like by the time you're 30. That's or true. Even sooner sometimes, so yeah. focus on your education. Yeah, tomorrow going to PA school. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. The Black Panther lived to the hype. Yeah, it definitely yeah. did. It was so good. Like the storyline, the plot twist. I'm not gonna give away any spoilers, but it's definitely a must see. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching again this week. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.